This movie is about a boy who finds out that his girlfriend is suffering from cancer and she has only a year to live. He wants to make that year the best year of her life. The movie starts with a 17-year-old Darren sleeping in his room, which has a lot of certificates and achievements in his room. This shows that Darren is an athletic and intelligent student who can achieve something good in his life. He wakes up and goes for a jog as a part of his routine. His father always checks upon him because he wants his son to be fit and pay attention to his studies as well. His father's goal is to see his son studying at Harvard University for which Darren is working hard, but he has more interest in going out with friends and partying together. Darren goes to the school and meets two of his friends who tell him about the concert that is going to happen. He sticks with his friends and they go to the concert on the same night. They reach there and they are told that the house is already full to which they are sent away from there. They go to the backside of the building and they see a girl in the building from there. They know that this girl was from the security and they ask her to help them get into the concert. They promise that they will tell anyone about how they got into the concert. She agrees to help them, but she asks for $50 each from them. They start to argue with the girl that they can only give her $20 each when a guy from security comes there. Now we come to know that the blue-haired girl was also like them. She was not in the security and was a runner just like them. They struggle with security for a while and ask the girl for her name. Her name is Isabel and after that, they run away from there. After coming home, Darren cannot focus on anything as he cannot stop thinking about Isabel, and he obviously is attracted towards her. He tries to find her on Facebook, but the hopes are useless. The next day when he goes for a jog, he passes through an ice cream shop in which he sees a girl with blue hair. He knows that the girl is Isabel. He calls his friends and they go into the shop where they buy some ice cream, and upon buying it, he gives some tips as well. That store has the policy to sing for the people who give tips, and when she sings for Darren, he loves the song. After that, he gives the tip once again. According to the policy the store workers have to sing every single time. She sings for Darren once again which of course he loves once again. When he gives the tip for the third time, she gets annoyed and refuses to sing for him, upon which he starts to sing himself. She comes to know that Darren is totally interested in her. She refuses at first, but after that she also accepts and Darren comes to pick her up, and she refuses to sit with him in the car and tells him that she would prefer a walk for their first awkward date. Both of them walk towards her house and we come to know that she has no parents and she is all alone in this world. After he drops her at her house they decide to meet again on Saturday, but when he gets home, we see that his father has already made a plan for him to go on apathy on Saturday. His father has arranged a party where he will invite people who will help him get his son into Harvard University. He goes to meet Isabel before he goes to the party, and there she notices that Darren stays under the pressure from his father. She mentions that Darren should do what he likes to do and nothing else. He asks her about her interest and whether she goes to school or not. Isabel mentions that she doesn't go to school which is pretty weird for Darren because his whole life revolves around school and Isabel doesn't go to school. He afterward goes to the party where his father is already waiting for him and in the party when he meets his father's friends who have connections in Harvard. During the conversations, he doesn't mention anything that makes them feel like he wants to go to Harvard. He now is on the vision of doing what he wants to and with time, Isabel and Darren become very close to each other. They meet each other every day and one day when they are hanging out with each other, his father spots Darren going with Isabel. His father scolds him and tells him not to go out with the people who don't attend school. His father starts to lecture him on his studies and his future. Darren feels very weird because his mindset has changed and he still meets Isabel, even after his father told him not to. Darren is living the dream life of many of us while I am in my parents' home, still listening to my dad. That night, he goes inside her house, and there he sees that her house is broken because she is low on money and she has to work in order to survive. She is technically a poor girl who doesn't care. They kiss each other and Isabel stops him as she mentioned that there is no need for him to come closer to her. Darren gets a little upset and asks her the reason why she doesn't want him to come closer because they both like each other very much. Isabel gets furious and removes her wig from her head. She is bald and mentions that she has cancer. She tells him that she only has one more year to live her life and she didn't want to come close to Darren, but she couldn't stop herself. He tries to tell her that he still loves her the same and nothing is going to change. Isabel is upset because she thinks Darren will break down after she dies. Darren tells her that he will try his best for her treatment. She kicks Darren out of her house and on the very next day, Darren comes back with flowers and tells her that he truly loves her. He wants to stay with her the whole time. She opens the door and asks him whether it's only one year, he agrees to that as well. He mentions that he wants to make this one year the best year of her life. Darren comes back and thinks that he also has thought a lot of plans for his own future. His father has a lot of hope for him and he wants to make his father proud. 
he calls his friends and discusses with them how he can achieve his goals and make his father proud, but along with it he also wants to make Isabel happy. They make a schedule together for the whole year and go there every day. This makes Isabel very happy as she enjoys every moment of it. One day on the boat, he proposes to Isabel to marry him because he is now madly in love with her. She ignores the proposal and takes him with her. They go to the studio where Isabel tells her friend that Darren can't sing really well. She also mentions that Darren loves to rap and he is good at that too. He is asked to perform in the studio where he becomes nervous. Darren ruins things because he becomes nervous and Isabel yells at him for that. She is about to leave when Darren starts to rap once again and now he sings his own rap. After listening to the rap, they both are impressed by it. Darren's father comes to know that his son spends almost the whole day with Isabel and he calls them for dinner. His father doesn't like both of them as Isabel comes with her caretaker who puts a lot of makeup on her face. When his father comes to know that Isabel doesn't even go to the school, he tells her to stay away from Darren and both of them leave the place. The next day he receives a mail from Harvard University said that his admission was not possible in the university, but his name has been put on the waiting list. If someone doesn't want to go to the university, he will be called instead of them. When his father comes to know the truth, he takes Darren to the same friend of his who has a lot of links. His father's friend asks Darren how bad he wants to get into the university, and upon this question, he completely denies that he doesn't want to go to the university, but his passion is to become a rapper. They leave the office, and now Darren is yelled at by his father. He tells his father he will do whatever he likes. He tells his father that he will become a rapper as it is his passion. Darren goes to meet Isabel afterward, with whom he plans to go to a different city. They plan to go to New York and they enjoy this journey a lot. They go to New York City and there a concert is held. That is the concert of the rapper that Darren likes the most. Isabel tells Darren to go to the rapper and give him the CD which they recorded in the studio of his friend. He meets the rapper but due to the overexcitement, he forgets to give him the CD of the rap that he recorded. Isabel gets upset because of that and Darren comes to know that her mother also lives there in the New York City. She doesn't want to meet her mother, but upon insisting on Darren, she goes to meet her mother. A little kid from behind calls her mother and we come to know that her mother has married and now she has another family. She asks Isabel to go away, and she obviously does so. She yells at Darren for doing that and reminds him that he didn't even give his CD to the rapper. She vomits blood while she's yelling and her condition worsens. He takes Isabel back to her house where he can take good care. The very next day her mother comes there while Isabel is still in bed. She says sorry to her and tells her that she has a family now and seeing her out of nowhere scared her. When her mother comes to know that Isabel is suffering from cancer, she becomes emotional and hugs her while crying. Aaron's mother also comes there while she is confused about whether Isabel is an orphan or she may have two mothers. They anyways continue to take care of her while she is alive. Just when people came to take care of her, she starts to cough blood once again and Isabel is taken to the hospital where the doctor tells them that she is in one of her last stages of cancer. She has only a couple of weeks left in a Darren breakdown after hearing the terrible news. Darren wants to do something for Isabel, something that she couldn't forget even after her death which is not technically possible. He goes to the same studio where he recorded his rap song with Isabel and he records another song for her. He names the song as Life in a Year. He records the song and sends the CD to Isabel which she listens to and she becomes happy as well as emotional. It might be the best moment of her life as well. Along with that, Darren's father listens to the CD of the previous song that he had recorded and which he forgot to give to his favorite rapper. He listens to the CD and becomes emotional as he never knew that his son possessed such a talent. The very next day Darren's friends dress him up while he has no clue what is happening to him. They dress him up like a groom and take him to the stage. In the next moment, Isabel comes dressed up as a bride in a wheelchair. Darren always wanted to marry her, but she refused every single time. She always refused his proposal, but she changed her mind after listening to the song he made for her. They get married on the same night and spend the whole night with each other. The next day, her health comes to an edge and she is breathing her last breaths. She dies on the bed with Darren lying next to him. Darren becomes very sad after her death to which his father comes and tries to console him. He tells him that he can understand his pain. He also tells him that Darren can do whatever he likes to do. His father will no longer stop him, but he will support him in every way he can. After some days, Darren leaves for New York where on the way he turns on the radio and he hears Isabella's voice who tells the listeners that everyone gets only one life. They only realize the truth of the moment when they are at the end of it. One should always enjoy every moment they get in their lives to the fullest and live with no regrets. After that, the song is played which Darren sang himself for the love of his life. After hearing that song, Darren cheers up a little bit, even though Isabel is no longer with him and she never will be. He at least understood what love really means.
What is life and one should always chase their dreams because there is no second chance for anyone. One should live their life like it is meant to live. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such movie recaps. Press the bell icon and become a part of the cool squad.